Hi guys, Ramzan here. Here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can integrate PayPal smart buttons into your product page of the Shopify store. This video is specific for studio theme. If you have any other theme, then you can explore shopwebsitecodes.com. There I have already added a lot of codes with different themes. Now the first step is you should download the code. I have already added the link below in the description. Once you are clicking that link, you will be getting a zip file. Once you are extracting it, you will be having these four files. Just open documentation.txt. I have already added few steps which we are going to follow in this video the first step is like go to Shopify dashboard click on themes click on edit code click on snippet so here we have the dashboard of the store you can see I have installed studio theme click on these three dots click on duplicate actually you should duplicate the theme so that if you have any problem with the changes you can restore it back to its original version then you should click on edit code here we have some folders you should click on snippets and the next step is create new snippet PayPal dash smart dash buttons copy this name and paste it right here click on add a new snippet and paste it here click on done and this will be creating a new empty file where we have to paste attached code so actually this is the attached code PayPal with credit so this is the code which we have to copy and then paste it right here and then after we have the next step which is add below event in quantity input find quantity underscore underscore input actually we have to go to sections we have to scroll it down and we have we have man dash product dot liquid inside of it we have to find this quantity underscore input and we have actually the input element for the quantity selector inside of it we have to paste this line of code just copy from here and paste it right here then click on save once the changes are saved then you should go to fourth step which is add your live client ID of PayPal in line number eight so actually we have to go to PayPal dash smart dash buttons dot liquid in line number eight you can see that we have added PayPal live client ID so I have added a sandbox a client ID that is for the testing purpose only but you have to use your actual live client ID of your PayPal I will be adding a video link in the description you just need to watch that short video there you will be finding your live PayPal client ID and you should copy it and paste it right here make sure to keep this uh, client ID inside of double quotes and then if you want you can also change the currency right now I have added US dollars if you have euros then you can use it EUR or maybe any other currency if you want the next step is click inspect the next step is inspect quantity selector element and get ID and paste it in line number nine so actually line number nine is quantity ID which we are going to find from the front end you should go to the home page first click on catalog here we have some uh, products we have quantity selector right click on it click on inspect and here we have input element highlighted so actually you can also click on this inspector click on this quantity input box and here you can see input uh, element is highlighted you should copy this ID actually you should double click and it will be automatically highlighted and you should copy copy it and then paste it right here firstly you should remove this ID and paste that a new ID and then click on save once the changes are saved then you have the next step which is go to assets open global.js and find below line actually we have to find this line of code inside of global.js so scroll it down we have assets we have to scroll a little bit down and global.js file inside of it we have to uh, find using control f uh, press control f or maybe command f and paste that function name that will be highlighting this so you can see that this is starting from here and ending at this line of code and we are interested to copy this line of code and paste it inside of that function so just above this curly brace we are going to paste that new line of code and then click on save once the changes are saved then we have the final step which is go to customize product and create a custom HTML section and paste below code so actually we have to go to the dashboard again click on customize click on this drop down click on products we have default product click on it on the left hand side you will see in product information click on add block click on custom liquid and here in this input box we are going to paste a new line of code which is this one copy this and paste it inside of this box and make sure to drag this up little bit just below button just below buy buttons and then click on save once the changes are saved then you can see that PayPal buttons are appearing so one more thing is like sometimes people are not interested to keep buy it now button so how we can hide it you should click on buy buttons uncheck this box and click on save here you can see that buy now button gone away now it's time to test in the front end for example in the front end I am going to refresh the page now you can see the mobile in the mobile view it will look like this and in the desktop view it will look 
look like this. The important step is to cross check the information which we are going to pass inside of these PayPal buttons. Right now we have the price $12, the color is black, quantity is 1. So let's click on PayPal button. We have to log into uh, our PayPal account. I have Sandbox account. I am already logged into it. So click on this price and you can see one love t-shirt black. Alright, the price is $12. US dollars. So that means information is coming correctly. If I am uh, increasing the quantity, so let's see it is updating or not. Click on this price. You can see that quantity is updating to love t-shirt black and 24.00 US dollars. So the last check is to change the color variant. So now I am going to click on PayPal, click on this price and you can see one love t-shirt yellow color and $12. So that means all the informations are correctly passed to our PayPal buttons. Now the important point is that our customers don't have the PayPal account. So they can use debit or credit card button to do the payment. Once you are clicking on this debit or credit card button, you will be getting Getting all the input boxes to enter the card details, enter the billing address and shipping address and then click on pay now button to purchase the product. So that's how the customers will be doing the payment. One more thing is like sometimes people are not interested to keep this yellow button. So how they can remove this yellow button? I have already attached an additional code which is this one. Copy this complete code and replace that existing code with this latest code. Remove it first and then paste the new code. Here I need to change the live client ID as well as quantity ID. So live client ID, I already have the same, but quantity ID I need to copy from here. Already have the same, but quantity ID I need to copy from here. I need to remove it and paste that and click on save. Once the changes are saved, then you should refresh it again. And here you will see that yellow button disappeared. Only debit or credit card button is available. So right now I need both of them so I can undo the changes and then click on save. And if you will refresh back, you will see the yellow button appears again. So that's how you can integrate the PayPal buttons. If you will see the mobile view again, this will look like this. So that's how you can integrate all the things by your own without knowing any kind of coding, just copy and paste the things. If you stuck somewhere or you are getting any error or you are facing any problem, then definitely you can connect me. I, I will be happy to help you out in that. I will be adding the contact details below in the description. So you can connect me anytime. I will definitely try my best Best to reply you as soon as possible so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please like this video also subscribe this channel thank you once again see you in the next video